Welcome beautiful people. I am Chef V. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by BetterLength.com and they specialize in creating natural textured clippings. So for today's video, I'm going to be styling my hair using their Afro Kinky Curly Hair in the 3C for a texture so y'all ready to get into this style because i'm really excited to begin so first things first um y'all i got a haircut okay like i had some really black bad bad <laughs> had some really bad split ends so i got a haircut and this is how my hair is looking i got a deep treatment and everything so just to let y'all know update it's gonna be in my vlog coming soon but anyway so first things first i'm gonna start off with parting my hair where i want to do the crisscross in the front now i've done the crisscross a couple times you guys know like that's one of my favorites to do especially um because i'm not the best braider and it's also for my girls who can't braid that well so what i want you guys to do is to pay attention to this front part especially if you want to get the exact number of crisscross that i did so i'm going to be way better demonstrating than actually talking you guys through it step by step so in total i made about eight rows so it's four on each side and as you guys saw i am using the shine and jam magic finger um gel thingamajig to do this i just find that it's really helpful when i when i'm trying to um create a clean parting space it's really helpful and also when it's dry it dries clear as opposed to like some gel if you have other products in your hair it will leave it flaky and white but with this styling gel it dries clear and i don't have that issue also another step with my elastic bands i usually put them in um herbal oil i don't let them soak i just put them in there for a little while just to create a little bit of slip and also with this style remember guys everything is optional how tight you do your hair is optional um what you decide to do if you want to do a crisscross or if you're a braider you just want to braid the hair back you can do that as well i opted for the crisscross and because i'm doing my own hair i know how tight i can go or how loose i need my elastics to be so keep that in mind okay so yeah i'm just gonna leave you guys for this section to see how i complete the crisscross Now just a reminder one more time, I did eight rows going back and I did the triple cross as opposed to the double that I'm used to doing because I wanted the hair to go back just a little bit more. So this is how my hair is looking. As I said, the, the gel is going to dry clear after a while. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to twist my hair to put it away to prep to do the back section with the clip in. So if you want to like just any way you can to just get the hair out of the way now for the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a very thin parting space right um, after my crisscross and this is going to help to disguise my clipping so you do not want to use a lot of that because at the end of the day you're trying to have as little of your hair out to blend with the clippings 
as much as possible okay so you just want a little tiny very thin roll and it's just to hide your clippings that's its sole purpose so i'm just going to twist that as well to put it away so i can prep for um the clippings in the back so now this is how the back of my hair is looking i just did about six cornrows in the back nothing special just something jumbo if you can't cornrow you can do some big old plaits in the back so this is how our clip-ins are looking i only use one bundle of this here and the bundle has 10 pieces of clip-ins in there i like to recommend you guys to wash your clip-ins before you use them just to loosen the curls a bit so what i'm showing you is the longest length versus the shortest width rather not length so i got this here in 20 inches so each clip-in is 20 inches long but the width comes in different length just to make sure that it fits the perimeter or different um, sections of your hair so as I said it's 10 pieces to create a full head of hair and I'm gonna show you guys how full all these clippings can be together it sounds like very little but actually it's a lot because I didn't even end up using all the clippings so this is the first row and then the second row and as you guys can see I'm not putting it too close together because I don't want it to look too poofy and just overly done so you want to be mindful of that you can always go back in and fill in spaces if you feel like you need to fill them in but you just want to make sure that you have at least two and a half inches between each um, row of clipping that you do so this is my second row or third row rather this is my third row of clipping and look how full the hair is so far and this is only three pieces So again, you're just going to keep going until you fill in your spaces. And remember, always go for inches in between the clipping as opposed to doing them too close together because once you're done, you can always fill it in. You don't want it to look too bulky. So look how full this is looking. And this is not even the full pack. Like loving it so i'm just gonna take my comb and tease the hair just to make it a little bit fuller since i didn't wash the hair before i put it in if i had washed it it would make the curls looser and more less defined i don't want the curls to be this defined because it's gonna be easier to blend the hair with my natural hair if it's not so defined i need it to look a little bit more frizzy so i'm just gonna continue teasing making the hair more bigger until i'm satisfied now i'm gonna pull out my hair and just see how much i'm gonna need to blend or if i need any more clippings and just where i need to fill in And also I wanna to mention to you guys that these clippings are 100% human hair, so you can reuse them over and over again. You can straighten them, blow dry them, wash them, do all type of things, cause it's gonna be basically a part of your hair while wearing it. So the great part is it's great quality. I didn't experience any shedding with the hair. And right now I'm just gonna put in the very small whiff right here at the corner and not the middle you want to make sure you don't get into the middle because remember you're trying to disguise the clipping so i'm not going to put the hair all across but i just felt like i needed those sides to be a little bit more full and then it's gonna be less work for me to blend my hair with the clipping so i'm doing that on both sides so i'm just using the clipping with the two combs in them so there's two of those in the pack i think there's like two or three and i just put one on each side and then now i'm just gonna fluff up my hair with the clippings just to see where i need to blend and all that good stuff now the first step is water now one of the things that i always recommend to recommend to people when doing style is always have confidence never look at your hair 
half done and be like oh this is not turning out well like honestly it's gonna look a little bit crazy before it looks all the way together so what you're seeing right now is that i have a little bit of leave-in in my hair so once i spray the water on there it's gonna look a little bit white and also you want to make sure that whatever gel you're using blends well with your leave-in so you want to make sure that it's not a type of gel that's gonna cause any type of flaking or react badly you want something that you are guaranteed to blend well with your hair so I'm just gonna do some finger coils with my hair once it's drenching wet I realize that my hair does better with the gel when it's wet so that's why I had to wet my hair and then apply it all over so i'm making sure that i get the parts as well that i'm going to use to cover and hide the clippings and then i'm going to spur some water on the clippings just to get it a little bit fluffy as i said i want to take out some of the def definition out of the clipping and then what i'm going to do to slay my edges i'm going to use um the got to be glued in the yellow tube and i really like this to slay my edges because i don't know it's it, it works for me in the front it actually does like i did my makeup with it without tying it down and she stayed in place y'all gonna see okay so i just do a little soup to the dupe nothing extra nothing big just something real simple real cute and then i'm just gonna like throw my hair back and forth you know see how we're doing so now you can let this air dry but if you got low porosity hair like me you're gonna need some help so i did a review on this blow dryer some time ago that i got from amazon and it comes with a detachable um attachment and it is it also comes with a diffuser part so i'm just going to leave the link so you guys could check that out on amazon and what is so cool about this blow dryer is you see that ring around it when the ring is blue that means the area is dry but when it's red that means that part that i am blow drying is still wet so it has that sensor on there that is just freaking cool so i'm just gonna use that until i'm satisfied and the awesome thing is it's not like super um, how do you put this? It doesn't blow hot air that will damage my hair. It's really cool air. So once that is dry, I'm just going to take a little bit of oil sheet and spray that all over. Get that fresh salon look. Okay, girl, like you want your hair to look as professional as possible. And this is how the hair is looking. Also, what I want to recommend to you guys, if you have jet black hair like mine, I would advise you to color the clippings black like you can just color the clippings so however color your hair is so if you have like a number two color here recommend you get the clippings to look like that like you can color it so i'm gonna dye my clippings next time i'm just gonna show you guys what the back looks like if you need to fill in more areas and all that good stuff and this is my final look let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle all the details will be in the description box down below the direct link for the hair again i got this in 20 inches one bundle only and i didn't even use a full bundle and it's looking full don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef and i'll see y'all in my next video go on big up on yourself bye guys